awkward for me when I have to take care of an attractive man. It's just, that's just me. Some people are fine with that. Um, I had a patient once when I was, I don't, I don't even know that I was a nurse. I might have still been a graduate. <coughs> I mean, I was, a, I was a nurse, but I didn't have a license. But he was so handsome. At my age, and I went in, and he was, um, he was vomiting, and I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I wasn't a parent yet, so I wasn't really into vomit. I'm trying to hold the bucket for him, and he's puking, and I'm thinking, like, he's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awkward. And then I start, like, my mouth starts watering, and I think I'm going to throw up with him. And I said to him, sorry, sir, I just have a hard time. And so we're sitting there together. <laughs> and I take care of his pan. And I came back in and he was like, Can I have that pan back? I need to spit. So he starts coughing up this awful stuff. And it's like coming like over and over and over all this phlegm. And he's spitting it into the bucket and I'm holding it. And I said, I said, I'm sorry, sorry, I have a hard time with phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> so by this time, he thinks I'm a nut. So then I got the order to discontinue his IV. So I did it, and I thought I did it correctly, and I didn't. And so his call bell went on a little bit later. I was like, oh man, I have to go back in there. Okay. <laughs> I go walking in, and he's like, oh, I just, there seems to be a lot of blood here. And I look over there, and I didn't disconnected at the right place, so it was like free flow of blood out of his vein <coughs> onto the bed. Blood is everywhere. And I was like, I got a little lightheaded, thinking he's hot. <laughs> I'm hot, I'm gonna pass out. And so I had to like step back against the wall and he starts laughing and he goes, let me guess, you don't like blood. <laughs> <laughs> so I conveyed a lot of messages to that young man. any of those things and in any other situation I wouldn't have had a man that had it was hot and that had vomit <laughs> and phlegm and blood all at once but it was like oh brother I've gotten a lot better since then but like I couldn't hide it I couldn't hide the fact that I was going to faint I couldn't hide my gagging <laughs> all I could say when the next day when I went to work is I do not want the man to I, still can tell, I can tell you his name, I can tell you what he looked like, and that was 12 years ago, and I remember very clearly. And he very likely remembers me. Has anybody joined him? Say that again? What do you mean? Like, what's that mean? Has the nurse ever... Oh, I didn't, but I could easily have. Yeah, yeah. if I had opened my mouth <laughs> at the wrong moment, I would have been. So a situation where you can't continue burning. You excuse yourself in the bathroom, or in the sink, or wherever you can get to, or the garbage can. I think, I mean, they, people get it. They're, you know, they're going to feel worse for you than you feel for them, right? They're going to be more sympathetic than you ever dreamed they would be. Um, let's see. <coughs> Factor, so it's, so the other moral to that story that I didn't say, but maybe now don't need to, is that it's okay to be human, right? You don't have to be perfect. You're not perfect. And you'll never, I don't know, you very likely won't look perfect to your patients. There's going to be lots of times when you <laughs> have tears in your eyes because your patient is dying or because they have just had a really bad diagnosis. That happens. That's okay. There's going to be times when you vomit in the garbage can as the doctor is doing some horrible excision and drainage and there's pus shooting out and you can't keep it in. That's okay. That's like my best friend, she's seen the uh, open heart surgery. I guess you have to see that when you graduate as a nurse or something. So. She fainted. I fainted in my first colonoscopy in nursing school. She said school. she was so embarrassed. Yeah. It happens. That wouldn't be bad. It was bad for me. Now I work in the OR. I'm fine with it now, but then it was... Was that thing that they 